discussion which took place on that historic day between these most noble lords was the town of Kirkuki, which lay in the said stewardship, and of the good causes and favours given by said townspeople to the crown of King James. The conclusion to the discussions of this day and in royal times, a charter was granted, creating Kirkubri a royal borough and handing over there to the townspeople of said royal borough the lands of Over and Nether Borlands, Mill Flats, Milnburn, Creek Park, Hewins, Calfwort, and Castle Names, all lying within the stewardry of Kirkubri. A messenger from the king, known as the First Rebel, was dispatched under escort to Kirkuki, carrying with him the charter and seal which would make Kirkuki a royal borough. As he neared the town, a courier was sent forward to warn of his imminent arrival. The cornet, a cavalry officer of the day, was sent out to meet the First Rebel, and together, they would ride around the boundaries referred to in the charter. This act is recreated annually by Kirkubri Corners Club by their riding of the marches. And this morning, Cornet Angus Milby, Cornet's last, Hazel Murray, Perswivet, Donald Bell, and Liners, Ben Johnson, Hannah Murray, Tom McTaggart, and Heather Murray will be given their sashes prior to their leading the cavalcade round the boundaries of this royal borough of Kirkuki on Friday night. Bring on the colours. Let us worship God. The hymn number 180. Give thanks with a grateful heart.